Hello, I'm back for part two, Easter Sunday. I'm going to do another video today because I've been listening to this release this past week or so. And as most of you know, I did a series of KLF videos last summer. So you know I'm a KLF fan. You subscribers know that I'm big on the KLF. And, you know, most of us KLF fans just sit around hoping and dreaming that Bill Drummond and Jimmy Cotty will once again release some music at some point. But that never really happens. And so until that day happens, we take what we can get. And fortunately, this new special request, What Time is Love Sessions, is a pretty damn good release. I really enjoy this. And I wanted to talk about it. First of all, I would highly recommend any KLF fan pick this up. And I have a feeling that most of you did. If you're a KLF fan, I can't imagine you didn't pick this up. This is pretty good. Special request is a fella named Paul Wolford. Uh, he's from Leeds, and he's clearly a KLF fan, as most people who make and listen to electronic music are. He even fashioned his cover on, you know, look at that font. Look at the size. That's total KLF style. He's got communications on the bottom. This looks like a KLF release. So he's obviously a fan. And this is a double album of just audio auditory love letters to klf and it's a really good album i was i was very skeptical of this when i saw it but i was like i, I listened to it and i was like damn this is good paul wolford his music is very hit and miss with me sometimes i really enjoy what he does other times i'm just like eh, not so much but that's why i like him he takes chances anyone who takes chances and risks with their career in music you're not going to like everything they do and so what? That's cool. I like that about Paul Wolford. He takes risks, which means that you're more than likely not going to like everything he does. But one thing he's very consistent with is his production methods. The guy knows what he's doing in the studio. And I appreciate that about him very much. This might be my favorite Paul Wolford release. He's recorded under many different names, like Special Request. I remember he did, he released something under the name Bobby Peru, which I deeply appreciate because Bobby Peru. Well, I'm not going to tell you who Bobby Peru is. If you don't know who Bobby Peru is, I feel sorry for you. Go look him up. He is uh, He's in one of my all-time favorite... He's a character from one of my all-time favorite movies. Go look that up. Bobby Peru. Bobby Peru will fuck you hard, honey. Hop all around that hole. Fuck you like a bunny. All right, I'm creeping you guys out. But you guys, come on. You should know who Bobby Peru is, man. Classic character. But back to uh, back to Paul Wolford here. I saw this pop up on Juno, and there's like there are different versions of this. And when I say different versions, there are different colors. Uh, mine's on purple, purple wax. I think it came out on clear, and I forget all the colors, but this one's purple. I'll show you that in a minute. But according to Juno, he's getting ready to unleash like four of these. I don't know if they're all KLF themed. Uh, Gino said he's doing four of these, though. I'm guessing maybe he's doing one What Time is Love. He's doing a Last Train to Trans Central. He's doing a 3 a.m. Eternal. Um, I don't know what the other one would be. Oh, I guess it would be Justified and Ancient, right? Those were the four big singles. So if he's planning on doing this for all of the four singles, those big four singles that the KLF did, I am very excited because this is a fantastic start. This is a full-on double album of versions. And it's good. You get all kinds of different types and styles of music going on here. And it's a nice release. Here's the back cover. It's a gatefold sleeve. Each side has different tracks. It's divided into different tracks, as you can see. But they all kind of, they, they run together. Like on side one, these three tracks all run together. On the last side, on the last record, these four songs, they all run together. So they're, they're separated here, but they're all kind of part of one track. Very cool. Especially the last side. That's my favorite side of the four. But you're getting all kinds of different different styles going on here. Paul Wolford just crushed it here. You can tell he's got a deep love of the KLF. And here's the gatefold. You can see he's doing a space thing there. His little homage to space. You know, essentially the first Orb album in a lot of ways. This is a man who loves the KLF. You can tell. It's a serious love letter. I'll show you. Here, here's a label. See, he's doing 
He's got the KLF thing. This is kind of faded, but he's got the KLF vibe going here with the font, the style. Again, all KLF singles had this little stripe in the middle. I love what he's doing here, man. Paul Wolford, if you ever watch this video, thanks, dude. I appreciate you doing this because I'm a huge KLF fan. Here's the color. This is, again, <clears throat> excuse me, this is on clear vinyl, purple, um, maybe black. I don't know. This is just the one that I defaulted to when I ordered it on Juno. I snatched this fucker up the day it came out. I was like, I don't want to wait on this. And it's out of stock now, so I don't know. You know, I don't know how hard this is to get. Maybe it's just the purple wax that's hard to get. I don't know. But KLF fans, pick this up. I think it's absolutely worth your time. I'll go through the track listing here. Um, yeah, the first the first side is dance. Danceteria. Dance mixes. But it all kind of flows together. You get some four to the floor beats going on there. You flip it over to the B side, you get what time is love redux, what time is hardcore. And that's what it is. It's a hardcore mix. It's like an old ravey, an updated ravey mix of what time is love. And it's excellent. Really well done. You go to the site, you go to side three. And again, the four tracks, turning point, spiral, sunrise, pure trance, artifact, synchronicity. You're starting to kind of get into some more ambience there. There are beats. But it's like it's it's a couple of long extended tracks. In fact, this side, I, okay, side three. I'm remembering. I'm remembering now. It's got four tracks. The first two tracks kind of meld into one, and then the second two tracks kind of meld into one. The pure trance artifact and synchronicity is really good. That's kind of like a straight up and more of an ambient mix. And then by the time you get to side four, which is that Wisnea microdose, melon farmer, epsilon, and sheep to sheep. That's like one long ambient song. There's beats, though. There are beats in the beginning. Not a four to the floor, more of an electro thing. But it's not predominant. You just get a couple of minutes of like light beats. But then the rest of it's like some serious ambience. In fact, I think this last side sounds like a homage to space and chill out. It's just pure ambience for the most part. But this is a really fantastic release. I highly recommend this. What do you think, Archie? Can I recommend this? Hey, Archie. My cat's over here. This is a highly, I highly recommend this release for KLF fans and non-KLF fans. But there are three more coming after this. And I'm assuming, I'm hoping that Special Request, Paul Wolford, is going to be doing this double pack, double record set for all of the singles. Um, Archie approves. What do you think, Archie? Yeah, he's too busy purring to uh, have any opinion about this right now. But I would highly recommend picking up Special Requests, What Time is Love Sessions, and keep an eye out for the upcoming singles. Because according to Juno, there are three more of this coming. And uh, how, how amazing is that going to be? More KLF. It's not the KLF, but it's by a true fan who's a really good producer and he's knocking it out of the park on this release. And if I had a favorite, yeah, my favorite would be the last side, side four, side D. Again, these tracks are all kind of, they're, they're named, you have a lot of names on here, but these songs are all kind of mixed together. And I wouldn't say it's a mix, it's not a mix album, it's all original music. It's basically just Paul Wolf Wolford remixing the shit out of this song. He gives you a double album's worth of remixes. And they're all new. They're all fresh. You get techno. You get house. You get hardcore. You get ambient. You get electro. All the things that the KLF did well. Check this out. Special request. What time is love sessions? SR communications. The KLF live on. Hopefully they will always live on. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.